So I recently uh, created a post uh, showing how I created this from Scooby-Doo, uh, the Shaggy character and turned this from this 2D image uh, into a realistic version and then how I used Van 2.2 to create this like more enhanced and more like realistic skin uh, sort of look so the issue is that the flux context is really like the other uh, there is no aesthetic and there is no like realism to it like if you create uh, anything it will just give ai like sloppy results so that's where van 2.2 or any other for that sake comes into play uh, van 2.2 here i use basically because uh van 2.2 always gives you the most realistic results and not uh ideal for any like 3d or like any animated or stylized look if you are going for it but for this uh, realistic style uh, it's the best one so let me show you the flux context workflow so this is basically flux context the nunchaku version workflow and i modified it and let me show you that this is it what flux gave me flux context gave me and i am using um a low rank model uh, a, a dtpr photorealistic style uh, which I will um, also include in this workflow um, and the link uh, down below description and I am using this uh, flux turbo uh, low rank loader uh, flux turbo sorry a flux turbo uh, low rank model uh, to speed it up and have eight steps and excuse me for my english because i am not a native english speaker and here is the model of uh, the clip i am using and this is t5 fp8 other than that it's like exactly same what you will get from this uh, nunchaku version of shell comfy ui workflow and this dtpr photo a photorealistic style is uh, basically the keyword for this low rank model and even if you just write photoreal or photorealistic it still works and um, if you have like turned this load this low rank model and make sure to set it to 0.8 uh, as it is recommended here is my uh, context sampler settings um i have used um lcm and sgm uniform basically i always use these three and test out which works for any imagination i am going to do so in this case lcm as uniform worked really well and there are two more which you can try but the ex uh, other than these um the results are like not not good for at least what i do so uh, i only use these three ones and here is the input image i used uh from actual cartoon show and um ignore these these like nodes which are not in use because um i won't be organizing this as it's like uh, isn't worth the time so and uh, this is it and um i have this upscale um nodes here just ignore them i will show you uh in another video maybe uh, this is basically i am just using um, flux um, context uh, whatever workflow i am using i just add these nodes and connect whatever the current model is being used and just upscale using that
and i have also added this uh, 4x and um, kdcx uh, upscale model and other than that um it's pretty straightforward and is included in the workflow that is down below uh one more important thing that this seed value is like extremely important because uh, one seed gives you a certain look then the other one gives you like completely different look like even the proportions so here is an example now this was uh, with the seed and look just what it did actually it um, tried to follow the input image mode uh, but it doesn't look natural and just i just keep on iterating and this on this seed i get got this result which is quite nice decent and this is with a uh, flux context and uh, for DTPR photorealistic low rank model and if you don't use this and just use um, vanilla version of flux context then this is what you get I know uh, this basically mm, uh, I don't know uh, for like every time I give uh, I want to make something realistic flex context doesn't know that person's age or like like it can it just makes it look old no matter uh, if the person is teen or, or or like a 20 to like 25 year old it still makes him very like like too old so that's why using that um dtpr um low rank model helps a lot and this is it um for this flux context and now i have showed you how we can achieve this now it is time for to show you how van 2.2 comes into play so this is the prompt and i actually used uh -huh. I, I actually used Google AI Studio for creating prompts for my images uh, as I don't hit any limit on input images as in chat GPT you literally just give it three to five or maybe a few more uh, images and it just locks you in time limit so that we don't have to uh, struggle with it google ai studio i use gemini 2 flash this prompt then goes into the key sampler and this is the input image uh, we got previously from flux context and this is the sampler setting i'm using and also i am using this um, van 2.2 low uh, model actually this is not the model this is the model and this one is light 2xv uh, low rank um, model for uh, van 2.2 low i also tried um van 2.1 but it it just depends like on on every image so what works best for this case it worked good here is my negative prompt and i'm also using this van video neg so that it registers this neg negative prompt as i have cfg set to one which means no uh, negative prompt will be considered if i don't use this so that's why i've used that <laughs> i'm not um, very good at communication so excuse me so i'm generating um using van 2.2 and this was the first time uh, it actually loads the models and other things so it takes time but i again uh, edit this to generation so that we uh, know what actual time it takes uh, to generate so here it is it takes like 70 seconds on this sample settings and this is what we got so yeah 
just look at this it is so good this is one thing that um i struggled a bit is with this like it uh, depicts that mountain as a cloth and to fix that i basically tried different seeds and the one that worked i just used that so if i show you guys here this is my generations you can just look here now if i like um increase my denoise to like 0.7 or 0.8 uh, it does this so definitely we have to stick with like 0.3 or 0.4 at max the denoise levels so i just i keep on iterating and then i go this one and this one so it looks much better and actually it's the same as the input image so it works uh, well for this case and now we got this image which is exactly this one i also want to show you that instead of 1 2.2 we can also use flux career that also just released a couple of days ago so but uh, flex Korea is uh, ideally i use that for the images that are like stylized like this one and not realistic uh, it also works on realistic one but this style it works the best this guy uh, um said uh, that uh, why not we just use the input image in one like why don't we just give input image to one instead of um, adding flex context in the middle uh, thing is if i do that i get um, this and this so basically what is happening here is uh, when we input any kind of image to 1 2.2 it knows the style of that image like in this case it knew that it is 2d so it created 2d and even if um even if i make it very explicit in prompt and still it will give me that unless i adjust denoise level to like 0.8 then it will do realistic but it will be completely different from the input image so that's why i didn't use this thing this workflow also one more important thing is uh, never to mindlessly follow workflows like just pl play around with parameters and see what they are actually doing because there there is not a single workflow that is perfect for any case and even in this case uh, like uh, if i try like two to three more characters more cartoon shows and there is like 90 percent chance that i have to adjust um, sampler settings uh, and other thing even i maybe had to completely switch to a different workflow just because of that single character the parameters are is what we need to optimize and which means we cannot have like all in one tool that just works for every kind of image so every kind of uh, scenario so that's why um just uh open this workflow that i have uh, given down in the description and see how the things are connected what settings are and uh, there and then replicate to your own workflows and this will just help you a turn as it did to me because i also previously looked for the workflows where i can easily create 2d to realistic um images but i just um, i don't think i wasted my time but still uh there was workflows that work for one scenario but breaks for other so it just kept on repeating so i i gave up and i then started to learning the parameters and each core elements like sampler settings scheduler 
uh, on my own so that I exactly know that if certain uh, workflow or settings didn't work on an uh, image, then I know what settings to tweak. So that was it. Uh, let me know if I can uh, help you uh, in this. Obviously, I went to this, and yeah, that was it. Uh, bye bye.